This is 2021 Chinese Math Olympia. The fill in the blank problem. We're given x, y positive real numbers such that uh, there exists a, b, you know, which is smaller than x and y with these constraints. a squared plus y squared plus 2, b squared plus x squared plus 1, x plus by equal to 1. We try to find the max of x and y. Alright? So how would you solve it? Think about it and uh, you know try to get an answer and then when you're ready, let's continue with the solution. So usually when we see the square here, it's natural to use sine and cosine. You know, for example, this is on the circle here, a and y. So you assume y equal sine, a equal cosine, r here will be square root of two. And the second one is a unit circle, so x and b in this uh, alpha and beta. And then, of course, you can turn this constraint into this algebra here, right? Yeah, because uh, square root of 2. And then well, you're going to find out that the sine alpha plus beta equal 1 over square root of 2. Alpha plus beta could be, you know, 45 degrees. You know, and then you try to maximize x plus y. And then you just plug in, right, with x is the sine beta, y is the square root of uh, sine alpha, but alpha is actually uh, if you do pi minus alpha. And then you can continue the process. However, there's an issue with this approach. All right, can spot the problem. Here, we ignore the fact that A and B are related to X and Y in this constraint. In other words, A is smaller or equal to X, B is smaller or equal to Y. So if we have two free variable alpha and beta with this constraint, we are ignoring this. So you can continue with the algebra, but you may not get the right answer. Okay? Or if you add this constraint in, your algebra will become messy. All right? So here, geometry comes to rescue here, right? So let's look at this geometric interpretation of this constraint here, right? So given that A is bounded by X, B is bounded by Y, Let's say if in a plane, I have a point x and y here, and I choose a is smaller than x. Yeah, so for example, I'm going to choose a here, and you know, this would be my x. This whole thing would be y. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that a square plus y square equal to two. So this would be y, this is a squared. So this one the square equal to 2, in other words, this lens would be square root of 2, right? So the other thing is b squared plus x squared equal to y. Where's b? b is something smaller than y. Okay? So since we have x squared here, this is x squared, x squared, right? And maybe we choose choose B as a somewhere here, right? Okay? So if this is a... If this is B here, right? This would be... The next one would be... Um, here would be Y minus B, yeah? So what we're saying is that uh, this equal, equal to 1, yeah? Because this is X squared plus B squared. Now you have a geometric interpretation of this uh, two quadratics. How about the third constraint? You know, we don't know, right? However, you know, we almost get a triangle. So if you were to find the length of this, so what is the length here? Yeah? You can use Pythagorean theorem to find out because this side is x minus a, this side is y minus b, so, whatever the question mark, the value, the square, 
equal x minus a squared plus y minus b squared, right? So let's say this length here, um, let's expand it out. What you get is x squared plus y squared plus a squared plus b squared minus 2xa minus 2yb. So we're given this, you know, if you add them up, you're going to find out that the square sum of all this here becomes 3. Yeah? And here, xa, yb with constraint equal to 1, so which means this would be 3 uh, equal 3 minus 2, and finally, this equal to 1. So in other words, the question mark here is actually 1. All right? So notice that uh, we have a triangle with sizes 1, 1 squared 2. Does it sound familiar? Right, yeah, that's a right triangle. All right, let's continue. So basically, what we we're saying here is that uh, this would be square root 2, this would be 1, this would be 1, and uh, we try to find max of x and y. So here, you can slide this green triangle at different position and then try to find corresponding x and y, right? So in other words, the geometric interpretation of the problem is, I have a green triangle with side lengths 1, 1 square 2. I'm going to slide through on the x and y axis and try to find the point where x and y is the biggest, right? So in this case, I have a green, I have a red, different you know position and uh, you know which one is bigger so we try to maximize x and y all right so once we have geometric interpretation now in order to solve it let's come with real algebra right so again this is a setup so we notice that uh, this is a red triangle so this is a 45 degrees here and this is a pi over 4 so let's angle two angles alpha and beta we know that alpha plus beta would equal pi over 4 and here by the definition here what we have we try to minimize x plus y but in this diagram x would equal square root of 2 cosine alpha and look at this triangle here right this is the, the set square root of 2 square root of 2 this is alpha so this is would be cosine alpha now similarly y would be cosine beta times the length here would be this will be one, right? So one times cosine beta, all right? So we turn, after we have this geometric interpretation, we turn the original problem back to algebra problem, right? But this algebra is probably simpler because it carries all the constraints that were given. So in other words, we are coming down to, you know, this relation here with this constraint that alpha plus beta is equal 45 degrees yeah, because this is a 45 degrees here yeah so now this is a pure algebra problem what you do is you're going to do some algebra here x plus y would equal square root of 2 cosine alpha yeah and then plus plus cosine theta but you know that cosine alpha yeah equal cosine pi over 4 minus theta and then you use the trig identity we know that this is equal you notice that cosine pi over 4 equals sine pi over 4 equal 1 over square root of 2 yeah so here we can plug in here so this would be 1 square root of 2 this will become um, cosine beta sine beta plus sine beta right and then we have once we have this you plug in back this is a square root of two cancel each other so this becomes cosine beta plus sine beta plus cosine beta so equal two cosine beta plus sine beta of course here we can use 
the fact that uh, if you square root of uh, 5 this become um, sorry this is wrong like this okay square root of 5 times 2 over square root of 5 cosine beta plus 1 over square root of 5 sine beta that would equal to square root of 5 sine beta plus some let's say um, omega omega is a constant what is omega tangent omega yeah so in this case would equal to um, 2 yeah so the maximum value of course we found it is square root of 5 when beta equal so um, x plus y equals square root of 5 when beta equal pi over 2 minus omega where omega equal equal this all right okay so that's the answer so eventually we use algebra to solve the problem but then we rely on geometric interpretation of the problem to solve it i think this is a, an interesting approach all right so uh, leave by comments if you have some other approach to solve this problem again in summary this is our final answer and uh, you know hope you enjoy the video and please like share and subscribe to this channel thank you see you next time